But so this is the reason why that when people hearing uh, Joe Biden in the G7 summit press co mm -hmm. uh, conference, when he was saying that the U.S. is not going to decouple from the CCP, that worries people so much. I mean, we yeah. were scared to death. What does it mean that the U.S. will not decouple from the CCP and U.S. will continue the economic engagement with the CCP? I mean, we have heard from so many congressional testimony that the CCP has done nothing to contribute to the world economy except the stealing. I mean, intellectual properties theft and financial theft and taking the PLA, the military owned uh, infusion companies to the American's capital markets to scam American inv uh, investors, stealing money from America's, uh, you know, 401k and pension fund. So what does it mean when Joe Biden was telling the whole world that the U.S. is not going to decouple from the CCP? I mean, that is so bewildering. And um, so this is one of the example. And then talking about the China versus the Chinese people, when Trump was in the White House, the DOJ has established, uh, established a program called the China Initiative. So that program uh, was dedicated to fighting the CCP's industrial and the economical um, uh, espionage. Meaning that, you know, catching the people like, uh, the chair of the Harvard University's, uh, Department of Chemistry, uh, Charles Lieber, who was, you know, uh, found, uh, that he took like tens of thousands of dollars from the CCP, you know, while working in Harvard and uh, not just uh, reporting the CCP funding to the university. I mean, that program was rightly in place to fight the CCP's uh, espionage and uh, intelligence work on the U.S. soil. 